What's going on y'all? I just wanted to make a full day of eating video, show you guys my deficit. So I'm taking in about 25, 2600 calories right now and show you guys how I am able to hit at least 200 grams of protein every single day. The biggest thing for me is always about being prepared. Like today is an easier work day for me. Um, so I bulk a lot of my meats and rice and always make sure you have fruits, veggies on hand. This just makes it super easy, especially for a day where you go to work and then you come home and then you're like, shit, I haven't eaten all day and I'm super ravenous and you just eat a bunch of snacks and it's all just carbohydrates and everything like that. So the biggest thing about being prepared, having bulk proteins where you prepare something on a Sunday, it takes 20 minutes, all right? And then being able to go and just take that and add your rice, add your veggies, um, and making sure that protein is like the majority of what you're eating. So I'm cooking breakfast right now. I just finished and I want to show you just like my intro workout concoction. So breakfast is about 700 calories. It's, it's hefty, but I'm, I'm super hungry. So it's going to be, I did 190 grams of grass fed beef. So I honestly don't know what the percentages fat wise, especially if you're trying to take in fewer calories, I would go for something like the 93% beef, but I just like the grass fed beef. I feel like it sits better on my stomach. It tastes a little bit better to me. Um, overall, I just feel like I'm doing something better for myself. So I've also got a hundred grams of white rice. Again, if you're dieting, White rice is something that for me, it's super easily digestible, but doesn't have like a ton of fiber and things like that. So I don't always just say, hey, just go and eat as much rice as you can. It's important to have a fiber bowl too. So that's why I just got some, some peas in here. Um, maybe like 56 grams. I think it was 56 or 57. And then honestly for, for fat intake, I have this extreme dark chocolate by endangered species. Um, it's 88% cacao. This this dark chocolate, it just, I just like something sweet after I eat. So that's really the reason that I have it. Um, calories, it's it's like 180 calories for a third of the bar. So this, this meal is looking at like 700 calories. One of the biggest things for you guys to do is to always switch up your condiments, okay? Like even hot sauce like this, They've got like a garlic buffalo that you can do. Um, you can use sriracha. Um, I And I always salt my meals as well. I use Himalayan pink salt. Uh, this is great for some hydration as well. Uh, and then I'm gonna throw some mustard on this meal too. So. Yeah, I mean, switching up the condiments means that I could go and eat like beef and rice every single day and I'm not going to get like just sick and bored of it by just using hot, just the same hot sauce over and over and over. You know, switch up your seasonings, switch up um, your condiments, all that kind of stuff. So I like mustard. Um, you can use a lot of zero calorie or, or very low calorie foods, like add some pickles to it or add some like a little bit of hot peppers. Um, let me walk you guys through this, this intro workout as well. It's gonna be 40 calories. Um, I use a Gatorade Zero, it's zero calories. And then I use just like a regular Gatorade and just do half a serving. I just mix them together. So always, I'm always weighing my food, all right? I got the food scale. Uh, the biggest thing, so I will put like my bottle on the scale, right? And then I already added the, the Gatorade Zero then zero it out, okay? That way I can just pour this right in. So I'm looking for about 180 milliliters here. There we go. And this is this is 40 calories. Gives you a little bit of carbs throughout your workout and then it's just, it just tastes good, <laughs> you know? So then I got some EAAs here, all right? Essential amino acids and I do, I don't know, a little bit less than a scoop. Um, I'm just using this raw brand right now. I think it's okay. Um, 
it's not like my favorite tasting thing, but it's good with the Gatorade. And then creatine, monohydrate. I just use metabolic nutrition. And I get all my supplements from Swansea Nutrition Corner, as you guys know. Um, but yeah, with creatine, just any monohydrate. Honestly, you can take creatine when you're cutting, when you're bulking. So when you're trying to lose weight or lose body fat, when you're trying to gain muscle, any you can take it at all times. So this is my, this isn't even a pre-workout meal. I just was making my, my drink just to kill two birds with one stone, save some time. Um, next up, we'll have our pre-workout meal and I'll walk you, what, uh, walk you through what that looks like. All right, next, got the pre-workout meal. So biggest thing, importance-wise, for a pre-workout meal is protein and carbohydrates. For me, what's easiest for me, I like to do about 50 grams of protein per meal that I have. That way, if I have four meals, 50 grams of protein in each meal, that's my 200 for the day. So when I do like a protein shake or add a protein powder of some sort, I'll always do two scoops. It's about 50 grams of protein. So for my pre-workout meal, I love oatmeal, all right? Always the instant oatmeal for me, um, just because it's quick, it's easy. Pour the packet in, add water, cook it for a minute. So right now I've got Good & Gather Organic Confetti Cake Instant Oatmeal. Bam! So I think it's okay. Honestly, I wanted the dinosaur oatmeal, but it was like six packets for four bucks, and this was eight packets for three bucks. And I was like, eh, I feel like saving a little bit of money right now. So even though it's just a buck, eh, and it's worth a try. It's, it's fine. So I made that. Then what I like to do is I like to put my protein powder into my oatmeal, okay? I want you guys to be able to see and everything. So I put two scoops of protein into my oatmeal. Right now I'm using the Mutant Iso Surge. I love um, a wet a protein isolate. Just personally, just because a little bit less fat, a little bit less carbohydrate. Um, it's gonna be strict, stripped of lactose and fat when they make it, a little bit more easily digestible. So I cooked my oat, I cooked my oatmeal, and then I just added this protein powder, and then I just mix it around, mix it around, mix it around, mix it around. And now, along with that confetti cake um, flavoring, you're gonna have, I have a, the triple chocolate right now. So what I have now is just this big chocolatey oatmeal goodness right here, all right? And it's always a little hot, so I'll usually just put it in the fridge for a minute or two, and then I'll eat it. This is a great meal as well, especially if you're on the go. A lot of times, if I know I'm waking up early in the morning and I wanna get right to the gym, I'll even make this the night before, put it in the fridge, and that's your overnight oats. Um, I also like to do, I'll add some peanut butter sometimes, um, especially if you're not gonna to be to the gym for an hour. Added fat is gonna slow digestion, so you're, going to be able to utilize the carbohydrates in this meal later. This is a very fast digesting meal. Well, oatmeal is, eh. I feel I'm able to digest this in like a good 30 minutes or so, but if I wasn't gonna be able to make it to the gym until like an hour later, then I'd add some, some peanut butter or just for extra flavor, it's delicious. Also, sometimes I'll cut up a banana and throw that in there. You can do a lot of different things with this. So this is gonna be close to only about 270 calories combined for this. For this, um, You're looking at like 30 grams of carbs from the oatmeal and you're looking at about 50 grams of protein from me, um, from the protein powder. And of course, I'll just throw this in my fitness pal. So after this, we're gonna head to the gym. We're gonna do back and then uh, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do post-workout meal. All right, y'all. For my next meal, I got Chipotle. So especially during a fat loss phase, I do like to keep meals out limited to about one to two. This is because it's very difficult for you to accurately measure how much you're getting. Of course, I put this into my fitness pal and it gives me a range, but it's not like they're measuring exactly. Like every scoop is different. So... As I've been doing this for a little while, 
I can make a best educated guess, but especially for someone that's newer, it's a lot more difficult to go and measure exactly how many calories, how much oil are they using, how much oil is on the grill. So I normally, any meal out, I always add an extra just tablespoon of oil to any meal that I have out. So for this meal, I got white rice, double chicken, cheese, and uh, the fajita veggies. So this comes out to close to about 600 calories, close to that 50 protein protein range, about uh, 15 grams of fat, and like 35 carbs. So uh, this will be my post-workout meal. It's a little bit heavier on the fat than I would like, um, but once you continue to do this, you'll see how your body responds to different foods, and you'll be able to measure more accurately in your head how much food you're actually eating. Like for example, I got a huge mega scoop of chicken the first time, but it was like a quarter scoop the second time. So Chipotle, like when I put it into my fitness pal, Chipotle has four ounces for a scoop. So instead of doing like two scoops and making it eight ounces, I just do six ounces. Um, you can do that by just going when you click on Chipotle chicken, you can just change the, the quantity from four ounces to one ounce and then change the serving size to six. So that's how I do that. And then for rice, um, it says it's about a cup. So I just do like one and a quarter. I think it's a little heavy. For cheese, I always ask for light cheese just because of the the amount of fat and the fajita veggies. Veggies, some people track veggies, some people don't. I always just throw them in there um, just so that I get a better idea of like what I'm at for the day. So this is my third meal. Um, I'm right around like the 100, 120 protein, protein range. And when I have a meal out like this, I'm willing to sacrifice other meals. So some other meals might be more heavily protein-based and less carbohydrate-based to make sure I hit that 200 grams of protein and stay within my calorie range for the day. All right, I got my last meal here and I went with another protein shake. I really love to utilize protein powder in different ways. Just like I did the oatmeal earlier today, this time I went with a protein shake where I had blended this mixed berry here, all right? And then I still used my chocolate isolate and then I fill it up with ice and just a little bit of water. That way it gives it this super thick consistency right here, okay? And the reason I like this thick consistency is because now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take rice cakes because I still had, I'm at 210 for protein and I'm only at about 2,100 calories. So I can eat so many rice cakes. And what I do is I break the rice cakes in half and then I just dip them into the protein shake and eat them that way. It's super filling, it tastes super good. You can mix up the fruits, you can mix up the protein powders, you can mix up the rice cakes. I've got chocolate and apple cinnamon here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm honestly gonna eat seven or eight of these rice cakes and it's gonna be about the 400 to 500 calories and that's gonna put us right at our 2600 calories for the day. Guys, I hope this was helpful for you. Please like, subscribe, follow me for more tips.